In verse 17 now, we succumb to a point that the son now sits back, uh, he analyzes his life and realizes that what he was chasing after was not as good as what God already had stored up for him. Uh, but because he did not want to wait for his time, or rather his season, he tried to force it and just end it up with regrets. Uh, one of the lessons I learned in life is that one of the worst things that you can do is try to force your season from happening and not wait on the timing of God. Uh, God is ordering your steps, but you have to be aware and cognizant of the season that you are in and not try to rush the will of God. Uh, let, let, me, let me help you uh, understand this. Uh, the ancient Greeks had two words that they used to represent time. And one word is chronos, and the other word is kairos. Now, chronos is the chronological time. Chronos is explaining one thing after the next. So I, I came out of the office. I sat down in my chair. I got up to preach. I preached. I gave my conclusion and sat down. Uh, that is the chronos, just the chronological time. But, but kairos then explains the time in between a moment. Uh, kairos explains uh, the meeting point between you and God. Uh, God begins at the ending and we begin at the start. Uh, God then meets us in the middle. Uh, so when you get to that point where you are saying, God, I, I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I think I need to do it right now. Uh, God is saying, hold on because you are in your kairos. And if you can just hold on, you're going to get to the ending because God said, I already seen you come out victorious. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with right now in your corner. God said, I got a kairos experience for you, and when that time comes, I'm gonna bring you out of your situation. I almost got excited. Actually, let me get excited for just one minute. Uh, let me help you out five of you. The enemy wants to convince you that you are too deep in your situation for God to pull you out with hope that you will remain in it, but the devil is a liar. It doesn't matter how far you fell in your situation, God can still pull you out and push you into the will of God. Uh, the enemy is just mad because his job was to praise God in the heavens. Uh, he messed up one time and lost his right to give God praise, and here comes man stepping foot on the earth, uh, praising God better than he praised God ever before. Continue to mess up every day, but never lose your right to give God glory. Uh, somebody should praise God right there that he didn't cut you off after what you did last month. Uh, he didn't cut some of you off after what you did last week. And for a few of you, he allowed you to walk into the house after what you just did last night. Somebody should praise God for his grace and for his mercy. I'm going to be seated. I'm going to take you to be seated maybe about one or two more times and that's it. Uh, now this son, after experiencing uh, the effects of life outside of the house, uh, then eventually came to the understanding of something and said, uh, it was like even the servants of the house have bread to eat, uh, but I have none. Uh, even if I came back on their level, I'll be better off. Uh, it was at that moment that he realized that what he acquired on his own could not compare to what God already had and wanted to give him. Uh, he just had to finally release an order for God to give. Uh, he had to release uh, uh, what he thought was going to make him happy in order for God to give what really would make him happy. I have a few testimonies. Let, let me let me tell you. The uh, first testimony is I, I was wasting my time uh, outside selling drugs, trying to get money, uh, but really wasn't getting no money at all. Uh, but but then I gave my life to God, and literally two weeks I went from selling crack uh, to working at Bank of America, and instantly went from a part-time teller uh, to a branch manager with just a GED. Uh, uh, let, let, me, let me explain the GED part. I, I fell out of high school and had no other choice but to get my GED, and though I wasn't smart enough to ever go to college and graduate, but when I put my trust in God, I'm now standing here with a bachelor's degree and on the road to a master's right now. Um, one more testimony, I had a child out of work, and so I had to get married for that very reason, uh, but, I, 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 but that situation ended even horrible than it started, and now when I look at my life, I thank God every day that he blocked it. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God said, what you are holding on to is much lower than you. I'm already
I think I have seven minutes left. I think I have about seven uh, minutes left. Uh, in, in, in verse 20, in verse 20 it says, uh, when he was still a great way off, it says when he was still a great way off, uh, the father saw him, uh, ran, and, and kissed him. Uh, so when the son he was uh, on his way home, but still far off, uh, the father was able to see him, uh, he ran to him, and he kissed him. Uh, uh, somebody, somebody's about to get excited uh, right here and right now because some of you can be honest and say that although I'm not there yet where I should be, 